guys, how's she going today? Well, today's gonna be the day that we're done combining. I fucking hope, unless both combines burst into flames, but if that happens, then I'm giving up, so. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I'm uh, just dumping a hopper here with the 21. There's lots of fucking uh, chaff and dust just because the straw is so rotten. I mean, you turn the fan up enough to keep all the chaff out and you start uh, throwing grain over, so. I guess I'll take a little bit dirty over leaving some in the field, so. But it's not too bad. It looks worse than what it is just because we're parked with the wind blowing at us right now, but. Anyway, Antoine, I guess, has finished a piece up over there. And then, uh, what's left here? 25 or 30 acres, so we should be done here before very long, so. I was running out pretty good, I don't know, we're from 50 or 60 bushels an acre, somewhere in there, I'll tell you when we're all done. I didn't figure it out that way, but. Get another one. Not a huge chunk left, but a little bit anyways. Quality looks a lot better too than what a, you'd think it would look like after what happened to it. So, and uh, I mean, I swathed it. I don't know the people that left it standing with the snow. It flattened it right out onto the ground, so they're missing a whole bunch when they're trying to straight combine it. And some people there, all the heads are shelling out and breaking off, so they're losing a whole bunch because of that too. So. I don't know what's better or worse. I mean, at least when you've got it in a swath, it's all still there. It might not be as, might not look as good, but I mean, even standing, it's still gonna get bleached out, so. But whatever, could be worse. I could not be getting any of it at all, at all period, so. Yeah. Take what you can get. Better than a kick in the ass of the frozen boot, so. <laughs> And uh, clean the combines up, I guess, and do some harrowing and a little bit of a little bit more cultivating, maybe, and that'll be that for the year. to hold the camera in this thing to for you to see it well. On about four miles an hour, so it's a nice heavy swath here too. Most of it anyway, there's a few light spots, but overall it's pretty heavy crop. See, she's just a, just a thumping in there anyway, so. But, I'm gonna keep combining here and I'll uh, talk to you guys here when we're uh, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel.
It's a race to the end. <laughs> Who's gonna win, Mother? I don't know. I, I think maybe you. It would appear that way. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's gonna get the last swath though because we don't have room. That dick. <laughs> Shut up, you liar. Well. Oh, he doesn't realize he's gotta take the last swath. He'll figure it out though. Maybe he won't. Oh there, now he figured it out. bit too off to the one side.
go. All done. That's that done for this year, I guess. So, uh, I gotta go load up another load of uh, peas on that Super B again. And then uh, go finish disking that little uh, corner we didn't finish the other day. Put the 5020 on the Harrows, put the 1086 back on the disc, and uh, then it'll probably be dark out by then. But. For now though, uh, Dad's gonna finish emptying trucks out with Antoine and uh, I've gotta bring one load home and dry it because there's some low spots and they're on the trees or it was pretty tough yet so I'll dry it just to make sure it's good. The rest I was testing about 16.5 uh, so uh, the air should be able to dry it down. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, pull a load every now and again just to make sure it's actually drying. But that's the plan anyway, so I guess uh, uh, I'm gonna go get that done and then I'll talk to you in the next one. So hit that like button and subscribe for more and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one.